if you'd raise your right hand, do you affirm that the testimony you're about to give before the committee will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. They're the USA's world-beating gymnasts, now That's telling their story to a room full of senators. It's not one of glory, but of devastation. The Olympic team doctor who sexually abused them as children and the adults they say allowed it to happen. Our first witness, Simone Biles, one of the greatest gymnasts of all time. To be clear. Sorry. Take your time. To be clear, I blame Larry Nasser, and I also blame an entire system that enabled and perpetrated his abuse. This hearing is investigating the mishandling by the FBI of one of the biggest sex abuse cases in the country's history. Larry Nassar, a report found, was allowed to continue molesting because allegations against him weren't properly investigated. Michaela Maroney sounded the alarm, but says the FBI minimised her abuse. I was naked, completely alone, with him on top of me, molesting me for hours. I told them I thought I was going to die that night. This was very clear cookie cutter pedophilia and abuse. And this is important because I told the FBI all of this and they chose to falsify my report and to not only minimize my abuse, but silence me yet again. Biles said her inability to compete at much of this summer's Tokyo Olympics was due to the ongoing trauma of the abuse. Today named one of the world's most influential people. Her power extends far beyond sport. Martha Kellner, Sky News, Washington.